What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, everybody. Back for another video here. You know it is by the intro, so uh, let's get into it. Today we're going to talk about something that 99% of the single mother sons have done in the past couple days. And we're going to talk about how they're caping for Tyrese here. And uh, as you can see, we don't care how you feel because this is going to be the truth. And this is going to be nothing but facts. And a lot of these people that are caping for him didn't do their due diligence and they didn't do enough research. So here we go. Okay, Therese was on uh, social media crying about he couldn't see his daughter or child. I don't say child because I don't know the daughter's son. And he's whining about the money and this and that. My friends won't help him. Okay, first of all, let me, let me explain to Tyrese. He's not the only man going through this. There are men who have gone through it, what he has gone through, and there are men who are going through much, much worse. First off, he needs to man up and suck it up. He needs to find himself an OG that will tell him, look, man, what you're doing is not what men do. Now, a majority of guys who are saying, you know, saying it's, it's okay for him to do this, they were raised by their mothers, and guess what? They were crybabies. You, and you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Remember the kids growing up that were always fucking crying? Those are the kids I'm talking about. They're the ones now who are grown up and think it's cool to cry because they were always taught it's cool to cry. But let me tell you something. It's not cool to cry every five fucking minutes. Well, I mean, and let's, 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 put, let's put it this way. I understand what he's going through. I have a child support order too. But you don't see me crying about it. I, 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 don't, put my, I don't put my business out there on the internet. You wonder why? Because that puts my children in the middle of it. And you guys are being selfish in that in that right regard. That's why you didn't do one, you do diligence as far as the research. Now, first of all, I, I, I'll just I'll sum it up. He should be a man about it. He should shut up and, hey, keep it off the book. There's certain things you can talk about. Keep it off the book. Quit your fucking crying. Now, here's why I don't believe... I believe it, but here's why I think it's, to me, it's all staged. For the last two months, he's been going back and forth. Well, not really back. He's been sh throwing shots at The Rock. The Rock is doing a spinoff of The Fast and the Furious. They came to him, and him and Jason Statham. You'll hear about this later, trust me. And what happened was, Therese didn't like the fact that it's holding the production of another Fast and Furious, which is jamming up his funds. Now, on some of his videos, when he was going at it with The Rock, he's showing brand new cars. He's talking about cars he bought so-and-so, and this is you didn't think I had the new turbo, whatever, whatever. This video, he crying the blues. I blame nobody but Tyrese for that one. Like, it was all fun and games. You were sitting there back there, you know, going back and forth with The Rock, talking about you do this, you got this, you got that. Meanwhile, old girl in the cut, Watching your videos, mind you, and she says, "Oh, you got all this money, you can pay." So I really don't feel sorry for him because he kind of he, he kind of bought that on. He bought that debt himself. Nobody else helped him. He he, he bought that debt on. And all these all these single mother kids sons, I'll say, they're out here caping for him. Well, he should be allowed to cry. Look, if he won the Super Bowl, hey, cry all you want. If your dog dies, cry all you want. If your wife dies, cry joy's a tear. But you don't cry every five minutes over anything. Some There's a lot of men that can't sit to see their kids. There's a look. Look, let me put it to you this way. There's some innocent men right now sitting in prison off of allegations of child molestation that are false. And the bitches know these these. Charges are false. I haven't had to go through that uh, with the allegation part. But I have been through child support and I know how the system works. I know 
It's been, it's been, it's been, it's, we've been in, let's put this, we've been in the gutter, let's put it this way. And that's all I'm going to say about that part. But number, and like I said, the reason I don't talk about this on Facebook or, I don't, I'm not going to talk about it now, but I'm, I'm talking about it as far as relating to this. I don't want to put my kids in the middle of something that, you know, that, that's ridiculous, really. And number two, let me give you another factual side note. You guys wonder why you're always getting beat the fuck up in court? Because when you go to court, she got her shit together, I can tell. Because all she got to claim is this dude's a mental basket case. And what did, what did he do? He played right into her hands. He made that video whining like a mental basket case. You cannot blame his kid's mom for using the cards that she's dealt. Is some of it dirty? Yeah, maybe some of it is dirty. But at the same time, if you're playing poker with her, and you're always losing the game. You're always losing the hand of poker. When is the time to quit playing and trying to, you know, they, they count your losses and go at, go somewhere else? And that's the problem with Tyrese. Nobody, nobody over there is telling him, "Hey, man, cut this out. Cut, just, just cut your loss. Just, just do you. Find, find some other outlet." Like I said, he was going at it with the Rock for two for two months or so, crying the blues about how he. The Rock screwed him. He no, nobody screwed anybody over. Here's your problem. You're sitting there used to getting them checks. You don't have the will. But apparently, you don't have the drive either to get up and find a way to get another hustle on, find another part, find another role. Or else you wouldn't be crying on social media. And this is what I'm talking about. A lot of you aren't doing your due diligence. Cause you just see a, you see some black guy crying, and you remember how it was when y'all were little. You know, you didn't have no dad, and your mom was always bitching the moment at you, calling you a failure, and you're gonna end up just like your father. A lot of you are like that. Like, look, man, I, I can I, I remember. I know kids like y'all, and no matter how much money you got, I know kids like y'all. Y'all always were crying. We gave y'all the hand me downs, you know, stuff like that. But the fact of the matter remains, you don't have to cry every five minutes. And and the cry or something like that, he goes, what do you say? His friends aren't helping him. What are they supposed to do? If you're crying, you're broke, and the month before, you're flashing your cars, what am I supposed to think? I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? Look, if you're broke like you think you say you are, s s sell one of them vehicles. Do what you have to do to get liquid. You know, get, 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 some, get some collateral or something. Just don't sit there and think you can keep all your shit and print it wants to give you shit. It don't work that way. See, a lot of y'all don't live in the real world. A lot of y'all live in that fantasy Hollywood world where you, you think he's a hero, but you're all, all you're doing is every person that made a video supporting him is caping for him. And, then, uh, and, I, and I'm thinking to myself, I thought the Justice League wasn't coming out for another two, three weeks. You got all these superheroes caping for this dude. Where they should be like, hey man, be a man about it. You roll, you laid down with her. That's the price. That's what happens. It didn't work out. You two are going through some shit. Now I'm not gonna say who's right or who's wrong because I don't know the particulars. I'm just talking about him getting on social media and crying like like he, he like all get out. You know, like he should have somebody pull his coattails. He probably doesn't listen because he's. He probably like you know if he's, if he's been raised by a single mother. He probably has that mentality where he's not gonna listen to anybody, even if somebody's trying to help. Him. But that's the mentality of a lot of these dudes. They want to argue, fuss, and their arguments are weak. His, arg his argument is, my friends aren't helping me. Your friends weren't helping you when you were when you were on top of her, were they? Where they say, hey, look, tag in. I'm, I'm here to help, help out here, bro. Tag in, bend over. All right. Flip her over on the side. What are you crying about? You're a grown man. A grown man handles theirs. A grown man doesn't get on, get on uh, the social media and cry and whine about child support. About how well, I can't get to see my kid. You think that's really helping? Look at all these NFL. Look at all these athletes who can't get to see their kids. Then they go public and make it worse. All I'm saying is, a lot of you guys are just capes for Quit caping for Tyrese. And Tyrese needs to just to man the fuck up. You know, hey. It, it, unfortunately, the old saying, it is what it is, is so true. So, 
that's all I have, man. This quit caping for the dude, and dude just needs to be a man about it. All right, peace.